Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramph, and I'm here to tell you about all the wonderful things that are happening Wednesday and Thursday, not Friday, but most of the week. But I will tell you what's happening in terms of weather. I got some news items. I got a new episode of Dubbin' Stuff, and I got uh, pretty much no guests today. Today's going to be a fairly short show, so I'm going to try to get through this as fast as possible. So let's kick off with a little bit of weather. It's looking like it's going to be a scorcher this Saturday, but you can enjoy some highs into the 90 pretty much all week long. Starting today, you have a sunny high of 95 degrees. You have a low of 60 degrees. So if you're just getting up and about, now is the time to be out and about. And then once it hits 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock this afternoon, it's going to get probably a lot hotter than that. And then um, if you are planning on jumping in the river, today may be the day that you should go jump inside the river. Thursday night, you have lows in 61, pretty much a 97. You might, we might even see 100 degree temperatures by Saturday. So um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be really hot, that's for sure. I, I have no idea why I'm wearing pants today. So um, let's talk about some new stuff. Um, an experiment with ponderosa pine trees has run more than a generation and turned up some unplanned results. Um, saplings planted f for the potential to grow the fastest, uh, straightest timber turned out poorly prepared to survive the mountain pine be beetle, mountain pine beetle epidemic. So, if you don't know, for sure, there are a lot of bark beetles in Montana, and they eat and breed in trees, killing them in the process. Um, the last couple of years have proven that human interference has really not helped at all. So one thing that a lot of people have been doing have been doing research and stuff like that. So a lot of the trees that are young uh, have a huge problem when it comes to uh, growing them and actually having these trees survive. A lot of older trees have more of a natural defense, but unfortunately if there's more than an um, mini beetles, which a lot of times they swarm and attack. So here's the idea. The BB-sized beetles attack pine trees in swarms. If the trees can't produce enough sap to pitch them out, the beetles lay millions of eggs under the bark. When they hatch, the larva consumes much of the tree's nutrition while introducing a fungus that also blocks the ability to defend itself. Deprived of, deprived of food, the pine's needles turn red and fall, resulting in a standing of a gray ghost as it's deemed a dead tree. So um, the the way that humans have um, helped fight some of the bark beetles that have been um, basically storming a lot of the trees is that, that folks spray the trees with an anti-bark beetle coating, uh, which helped, but also made the trees even more flammable, uh, just as flammable as a redneck Thanksgiving. Um, most trees have natural defenses, but this could mean trouble for people who breed trees because uh, why should anyone who grows anything in Montana be easy? Um, in, the, in the state news, in 1993, Montana legislators created a hotline for public report waste, fraud, and abuse in state government. The responsibility to guard against abuse of power by legislators lies with legislators, the House and Senate Ethics Committee that have not met since 2001. Um, and in fact, there are no link or keywords that would help you report a legislative official in mt.gov. Uh, in the article I read from the Billions Gazette, even some legislators wouldn't know what to do if their fellow legislatures uh, were acting unethically and would not know who to call. Um, Montana received a failing grade for its nonpartisan Center for Public Integrity in its 2015 investigation of state government transparency and ethics. Look, look at it from a logical perspective. Most of the time, Montana reps meet every two years, and most of the time, it's dedicated, um, directed towards the budget and trying to pass some some of the same old bills that you've probably seen time and time again. But of course, the rest of the article asked many questions to current state officials who seemed they had no idea that this was. Um, or was not a thing when it come to uh, officially reporting a legislature. Okay, so that's what's happening in the state of Montana. Let's talk about some national news. Um, actually, some more of international news. Um, North Korea says it has successfully tested an inter intercontinental ballistic missile, uh, which in theory can fly far enough to reach Alaska. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson confirmed Tuesday that a missile launched by North Korea on Monday was in uh, is a uh, IBM 
in a statement w in which uh, uh, w in which he condemned the test. In response to the to the test, the U.S. and South Korea forces conducted joint military exercises aimed at um, countering North Korea's uh, destabilizing and unlawful actions on July 4th, according to a statement issued by the U.S. Army. In an earlier joint um, statement, China and Russia called the test unacceptable and called for a um, basically a, um, a halt on nuclear and missile tests by North Korea. They asked them not to do it. And a suspension of large-scale military exercises by the U.S. and South Korea. Um, uh, okay, so if confirmed, this would mark uh, this would mark the first successful test of North Korean missile capable of reaching the United States, a long-standing goal for Pyongyang. In it, of course, it's not clear whether or not North Korea would have the ability to put nuclear warhead on the missile, uh, a separate technical challenge in itself. There's a, a daily dose of fear, I suppose, but let's uh, show a couple of things uh, to get your mind off of it. And here are some of the new programs that are going to be appearing on MCAT for the next couple of days, including my stop motion anthology. So you guys get to check all that out and more with some music and some stop animation because next week, um, then we'll, when we come back, I'll talk about everything MCAT. But here is some of the new programs that are going to be on MCAT. Which functions as a bit of an intermission, although you're not allowed to go anywhere. This is just for their jobs. Uh, but uh, this is a march that is uh, very famous, and uh, any of you who have spent some time in Texas will recognize this one from the University of Texas. It's one of their fight songs, and they play it all the time. Hope we can do it some justice. This is March Grandioso. <laughs> Could you give us a No problem, bruh. You're all right. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Ah, 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 oh, wait, wait, ah, ah, ah. You call this service? Good luck walking without the foot pegs. <laughs> Dude, are you guys, like, ready to order or something? Actually, I have a question before we order. Are you a cop? Yeah, and I think I saw him at the coffee house, too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, I swear, just what is it do you do for income? Check, please. You're right away. I hope you guys enjoyed your time at Jolly Jerry's. I'll be right back. I'm thinking about giving my boyfriend, Chuck, a second chance, but I just don't know. Well, sometimes I think an ignorant boyfriend is better than an absent one. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just so sick of men just ignoring us until they want something. I say we get dessert and forget about men, if only for tonight.
I'm always a big fan of the uh, percussion ensembles that um, we've been filming for the last uh, plenty of years for sure as long as they've been doing it they do a lot of uh, concerts that's a percussion ensemble concert a lot of times they do fusion concerts which are also on demand as well you can look that up by logging on to mcat.org let me get bring that up Here's MCAT.org. It's a great website where you guys can find those programs and more and how to sign up and how to get involved with MCAT. MCAT is a, a nonprofit television uh, station that provides uh, equipment, um, gear, advice, anything that you guys m think you may need to get a nice uh, foot in the door when it comes to um, broadcast media, in just in general. Just kind of like a nice start. It's a nice start. It's not like... You know, like it, 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 it's the best way to describe it is is that um, it's as good as your imagination. It's, it, it'll take you as far as your imagination will take you. That's the nice thing I like to think about when it comes to MCAT. You can do shows like this, as you can see that I'm doing right in front of you, and also you can do other things here as well. We have other um, shows that are on MCAT that are produced here by local residents of Missoula, ASAF Cafe, Awful Truth About Society, uh, Emmett the Elderly Punk Rocker, he does his show um, every week. Um, he still does it. He's been doing it longer than anyone has basically done any show here on MCAT at all. And then we have uh, Asaf, who uh, used to play piano for the morning show. He left along with Noel. Good. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not petty. Um, but if you want to learn more information about my show, log on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula uh, to find out more information. Past interviews, you can see my whole past episode from last Friday where I talk about all sorts of fun things, summer camps, and uh, the city band. So uh, tonight there is a city band concert where they're going to be kind of reflecting everything he, um, that they basically played um, yesterday because last night they uh, the city band, which I'm a part of, I don't want to sound biased or anything, but uh, the city band uh, performed uh, a lot of Americana music for the July 4th celebration. I hope you guys had a safe, um, fun July 4th. Uh, people fired off fireworks. It happens. Whatever. You know, like in the city limits, they're supposed to do fireworks, blah, blah, blah. Pe some people did. Probably people got fined. More money for the Missoula City Police. Great. <laughs> but um, today, uh, tonight, especially, uh, the Missoula City Band will be performing at 8 p.m. in Bonner Park, where, where, where they'll be playing uh, 4th of July um, um, music, while at the same time adding some more music along the way as that. So it's going to be every single Wednesday, 8 p.m. You should check it out. Also, just letting you guys know that this Friday, MCAT will be hosting a parklet for First Friday. It's not just for First Friday. It's going to be pretty much all freaking day and I, I'm sorry about the language but I just had to say because it's going to be a long day I'm going to do my morning show on Friday um, I was thinking about doing it like an outside morning show I'm not sure I haven't quite decided yet but the whole idea is that I'm going to uh, set up uh, couches and we're basically going to um, do a Twitch stream of gaming so MCAT um, gaming channel is our Twitch name. We're going to kind of launch our Twitch name by basically putting it on um, on Friday, and that's going to be basically doing it from like 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., if not sooner. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, Steam, free, downloadable games, making fun of a whole bunch of games. Um, hopefully we won't play any novella type games, you know, where they just basically, where you just hit a button and it reads the next line and it, it's ridiculous. We can do those, but who knows? It's just like, if you have any suggestions on what games we should play for our MCAT gaming channel, please uh, tweet us at MCAT TV Missoula or at... Um, Yep, MCAT TV Missoula. You can also find us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Um, and I think the hashtag would be uh, MCAT Gaming. So check it out. It's going to be great. I'm excited for it. You get it. Basically, it, it, we invite people to come down, hang out with us. It's going to be kind of like we're. Go it's kind of like we go out to go be gaming. So it's like a. It, it's going to be a cross between this like, oh, why do you guys? Why do you? You are inside playing video games all day. Or we're going to be outside playing video games all day for our little parklet. For our uh, for the uh, downtown uh, partnership, which uh, hosts Parklets, and they're always looking for organizations to um, um, take advantage of Parklets, which allow people to uh, rent out a parking spot for the first Friday event, and basically say, "Hey, 
we're cool. We're hanging out here, and we want you guys to um, come join us for this nice little thing. And basically, uh, for anybody who wants to park downtown, it's impossible. It just takes one parking spot away from you guys, and we dress it up, and it's going to look really nice. So that's kind of what's happening in terms of news. I have a brand new dub and stuff for you guys. So here is dub and stuff from the 1956 movie Indestructible Man. What's that you say? Oh, you're calling me from, not from your home? Then where are you calling from? A payphone? No, wait. Well, you can call from anywhere. I'm scared of the future. But you can be called from anywhere. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, thank God, it was getting awkward for a second there. Here are some flats, ma'am. I know high heels can be very difficult. I mean, I, I, I know what it's like. To, high heels, you know, are very difficult in, in, in general. Uh, 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 so I saw you walking down the street the other day, sir. <laughs> oh, man, he's got jokes. Oh, I need to talk to the captain. Huh? Oh, but first I'm going to talk to this beautiful young lady. Why'd you come all the way down here for little old me? <laughs> for real? Yes, and... Uh, I'm just looking for a good time. Oh, well, um, I have other plans, um, I, I, uh... Looks I, like I, you I, have I to decide between the two of us. Don't I remember seeing you at the bathrooms in the airport? One thing's for sure is that you are flying air diarrhea. Is this what you want? She's here, isn't she? Uh... How could you do this to me? It's not that. His diarrhea jokes might be terrible, but at least he makes me laugh. Uh, my jokes aren't that bad. Now hold on whoa, a second Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, champ. There's a reason why she's in my office. She chose me over you. But that's not possible. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I better... Yeah. Well, what was that all about? Good people doing nothing is just as bad as bad people doing bad things. I didn't come to work to learn. Get, get out of here. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about some events that are happening in and around Missoula, kicking it off with some uh, mid-week camps. So uh, most of the time, because of July 4th, it's hard to do camps. But as soon as July 4th is over, you're trying to find out what you're trying to basically keep your kids busy so they get so they stop, you know, like making you angry. So uh, in Macat, all our summer camps are full. But here are some other summer camps you guys can sign up for. Summer museum art camp it's screen painting and it's going to happen at the missoula art museum um this is for age 11 to 18 from tweens to teens um basically uh you get teachers steve krutik and this happens from um, 9 a.m to 12 so it's it's a nice early morning camp it starts this morning it probably already it, it already started so you already missed out um if you wanted to sign up your kid um the price is 55 dollars and it's for 49.50 for members of the missoula art museum and that membership helps uh provide free admission and free expression at the missoula art museum so by being a member at the missoula art museum you contribute to camps and free programs at the missoula art museum this is a nice little plug for the missoula art museum one of the few art museums that is free it's great. Uh, Persons will, will learn how to create simple personalized screen print. I'm talking about the camps again. So images on various paper, hats, bags, jackets, and t-shirts in um, multiple colors. Summer arts camp in um, at Missoula Art Museum offer exciting creative opportunities for Missoula budding artists. Nurture y uh, your, y your child's creative... Sorry, let me start again. N uh, nurture your child's creativity through a summer with a MAM art experience. Summer art camps are taught by experienced art teachers and qualified artists who bring a wealth of knowledge and creative insight to share with you and your child. An integral value at MAM camps and classes is the emphasis on creative play. Students are encouraged to problem solve and innovate. Um, celebrate creativity this summer in the MAM classroom and galleries. Prices are listed in the MAM membership, non-membership. Um, please ask about many of the scholarships. You, you can go to the MissoulaArtMuseum.org to find out camps and upcoming camps as well. This camp happens from today all the way until Friday. So it's, you can't miss out. It's going to be great. And if you're uh, not interested in um, 
Um, art, you can look at Crime Scene Investigation Summer Camp, which is at Spectrum Discovery. Learn how to investigate, solve mysteries, work with the team to map the crime, examine fibers under the microscope, uh, and fingerprint suspects. You are the te de detective, and you must use all the forensic tools you have to crack the case. It's 10% member and sibling discount scholarship available families in need. Participants bring their own lunch and you can call to sign up at 728 STEM. So um, I don't know what STEM stands for because uh, everyone has cell phones and everyone forgets numbers and whatnot. So it's $145 for this camp and it happens from today um, until Friday. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. pretty much all day camps and this is for ages 8 to 11. Um, employment assistance programs. So if you're interested in jobs or looking for a job or finding a way um, to basically change your job, employment assistance programs um, at job services in Missoula, talk to Wolf, um, Wolfgang, sorry, um, he, at 10 a.m. Um, if you're seeking the job service Missoula Pathways programs um, can help. Their education pays and subsidizes employment programs to help you land a career job. Give them a call at 329 1275. Again, that number is 329-1275. Or stop by the office at um, 2677 Palmer Street, STE 20, 20, no wait, 222. They're open daily, Monday through Friday, during the work hours. So um, if you're interested in uh, a new job, a uh, a job in general or just uh, thinking of a change or maybe just looking up more information about other opportunities out there this is the place to do it um, old sap at out to lunch out to lunch is today at 11 till 2 p.m. old sap is going to be playing um, it's going to be it's a weekly concert series at Cares Park they're having all sorts of food and musicians and of course you have many different varieties of food so you don't have to just like one thing over another and this is happening um, Wednesdays in June, July, and August from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I heard that they extended it this year, especially um, for any incoming um, Grizzly, um, I guess the University of Montana Grizzly, um, people who are um, or being oriented into the city of Missoula for the first time. Um, sound at Spectrum Discovery Center is at 11 a.m. today, part of their regular uh, um, daily duties um, for kids. And this is uh, for anyone for and Anyone th um, if you're three and under, you get them free. Anyone four and over is 350 for those kids. And their new location is 812 Tool Street. And they're uh, learning about sound. So check it out. You got free admission night at Family's First Children's Museum at, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. is a great opportunity to meet and greet with other parents and just have a great, uh, fun, learning, safe environment for the kids. And this is going to be free from 5 to 7 tonight. Um, of course, if you're heading downtown for First Friday, stop by the Children's Museum and admission is free for everyone from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. also on First Friday from what they're saying. And you got a weekly farmer's market. You got another farmer's market. Last night they had farmer's market by the Red X's. Tonight they're going to have a farmer's market at Imagination Brewing Company. So you want your weekly grocery shopping for a brew in hand? Join Lay from the Blue Eyed Dog Farm and Bison Farmy Farmer Chris Sullivan for a weekly farmer's market at the brew brewery every Wednesday. Local organic veggie and bison fed with INBC spent brewery grains will be available for purchase. And roller skate fun and fitness at the Missoula Fairgrounds. This is a limited time only. They're doing um, roller skating. This is usually when they do a lot of ice skating and stuff because uh, they have an indoor controlled environment. So they have a lot of rolling skating. So this is a uh, going to be fun. This is six weeks only, and this is going to happen from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. tonight, all ages. It's family fun. It's $7.50 admission price, including a uh, rental. Uh, brand new inline rental is $2 extra. Um, uh, you can contact SCM to book your party or special event during the June and July midweek skate, and the dates are for uh, July are um, today, the 11th, 12th, 18th, and the 19th is the last day to do this. Socrates Cafe is at Missoula Public Library. They have also have um, many story times um, happening at Missoula Public Library as well. Um, but, the, but today at the Missoula Public Library at 6 p.m., I'm always a big promoter of the Socrates Cafe, but it's a way for you to drink some coffee, hang out, and basically talk about philosophy and whether or not uh, Socrat uh, Socrates was uh, actually right when it came to um, basically having to uh, kill himself 
just um, basically out of pride. It was interesting, his whole history and the thing, but I don't want to get too much into it. Um, but here are some of your music events for your Wednesday night. Um, a Volcano, The Scurfs, and Ranuculus. Um, sorry, I, I botched that name, but at Zootown Arts Community Center, they're going to be rock music happening from 7 p.m. until whenever it's over. Um, reggae runs through it, and it's going to be at VFW. Um, it's going to start at 8 p.m. These are all late night. Missoula City Band again is doing a lot of Americana music. Karaoke contest um, is going to be at Eagles Lodge. Um, karaoke at the Badland and Karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon. And Karaoke at VFW after they do some reggae stuff there as well. So you can be there. You can stay for the reggae, and you can leave once uh, as soon as a terrible singer gets up there and sings, who will probably be me. Um, that was a terrible joke. I don't even know why I'm trying to be funny. Um, Tiny Tales um, is happening Thursday morning, uh, but I'll get to that as soon as we get to another art clip starting. Um, this is an art clip. This is a brand new art installation at the Missoula Art Museum. I believe it's Maggie uh, Hiltner, and she does What Lies Beneath, and this is going to be at the MAM well into September. So you can check this out this first Friday, or you can watch a little bit of Sinbit and then check it out. I definitely like that music from um, what the Rick Philip has. Uh, <laughs> I really like that art clip, especially uh, because it was produced by Rick Phillips. Rick Phillips does a lot of art clips for us that I show on my morning show. I like to highlight some of the things that a lot of our uh, producers and a lot of our my coworkers here at MCAT um, make. Uh, for your viewing pleasure and that was one of um, his art programs he basically goes around captures a lot of the history of art museum but he also likes to implement some of his own music in there as well to kind of like emphasize uh, to help enhance the visual experience that you guys see but that's only a representation you actually have to go down and actually see the art to more experience the art um, because, um, like Steve Glukert always says, is that he has his own show here on MCAT as well. It's called Look Before You Speak. And his whole idea is he wants to linger on the painting and just like understand the brush strokes and just see the textures and see the hidden layers between the art. In these videos, it's more just like a flash in the pan. You can't be like, whoa, was that art? Yes, it was art. So, um, But also, we have two new uh, Look Before You Speaks coming up in uh, the later months. Um, we just did one at Radius Gallery. Thank you uh, to Lisa Simon at the Radius Gallery. And also Lillian, I forget your last name, sorry, um, at the E3 Convergence Gallery. Um, so without further ado, here is the rest of your events, and I'll wrap up my show. Tiny Tales, starting at 10.30 a.m. at the Missoula Public Library. This is from birth to three years of age, because I'm not going to say 36 months. Uh, this unique program is held every Thursday, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10.30. Um, um, da -da -da, you must be accompanied by adult lap. These are kids. Um, you got to keep an eye on them. Uh, participants will sing songs, learn finger plays, and nursery rhymes, and hear stories. This program is usually held downstairs in large meeting rooms, but of course, they'll put it on the dragon rug and other, uh, if otherwise specified. What is your 
child learning, hearing stories and rhymes helps your baby develop language skills and your toddler develop their vocabulary. Toddlers learn nine new words a day. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, family movies for all ages, Mizzou Public Library. Mizzou Public Library's family summer reading program continues with the program Family Movies for All Ages. Uh, with this screening of family-friendly film in our large meeting room, you can call them at 721-BOOK for uh, or the, uh, otherwise known as 721-2665. I love it when um, when they post it, they also put the actual number there rather than just say the first three numbers and then say book or stem. Just looking at you people. For the title of the movie, um, you can call them at 721-BOOK, 721-2665. Uh, um, the leaves go marching on, um, Mizzou Insectarium, um, with the first practice in agricultures. Human, who were the first... Um, practitioners of agriculture, humans or ants. If you guessed ants, you are correct. The um, Atine ants, known as the leafcutter ants, were the ones of the first animals to form a close relationships with plants or fungi. Today will be today they will be working with leafcutter ants, um, seeing and learning more about why these intriguing ants are carrying leaves. Um, you can stop by anywhere between 3 and 5 p.m. to learn all about this. Um, uh, kids under a certain age getting free. Uh, there is a cost, but mostly it's entry fee. But you get to see all sorts of wonderful things at the Imazul Insectarium. But I do look forward to their, uh, uh, I guess, uh, bug eating um, uh, show because they always because uh, they usually get sold out. So they do like a thing where they actually cook bugs and you get to eat bugs. So I think that's pretty cool for sure. Um, downtown tonight is happening not tonight, but happening tomorrow. So you call it downtown tomorrow, but. Unfortunately, I don't do a show on Thursday, so I can't call it Downtown Tonight. But the the event is called Downtown Tonight. Missoula Independent reveals the best of the year from food and coffee and many other points of interest that have deemed worthy in terms of the Missoula Independent to basically write about it. So categories such as best new restaurant to best service from many local establishment based on the um, independent um, I don't know what goes onto the list. I know that they do have sign-in forms, so if you go to any of these places um, that actually are uh, want to not who uh, who want to be part of this um, put basically uh, little boxes with forms and say what is the best place yada 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 cheapest place easiest access best service that kind of thing fastest service all that stuff I have a couple opinions on fastest service but I won't get into it because uh, I'm <laughs> I can be petty sometimes when it comes to my service get my coffee to me now and this morning you know you don't want to deal with the semantics it's like I just want a coffee just give me a coffee shut up give me a coffee. Anyways, I probably need some coffee. Actually, I don't need any more coffee. Uh, <laughs> but it's a great morning. Um, I'm definitely going to go. I'm going to definitely try to check out the um, um, the out to lunch today. It's going to be great. Um, always a bunch of food and stuff. Even though it's for lunch, it's a nice way just to get out and about. Um, today's going to be a scorcher. So be aware that the weather is going to get hot and hot and hot, especially during this whole week. Lead it up until this weekend with highs into the 90s, pretty much staying that way all week long. So wear your shorts. I'm going to go home. I'm going to change the shorts. It's going to be great. It's going to be glorious, and I can't wait to do that. But um, for you guys, I will see you on Friday. Uh, I will have another summer series video based on our summer camps. Um, animation summer camp starts next week. Um, MCAT's regular, regular open business hours are happening from um, 11 to 7 today. Thursday and Friday this week and then two weeks of summer camps but of course we'll be opening for uh, everyone else from 5 to 8 every single uh, basically um, 5 to 8 Tuesday through Friday for the next two weeks um, but not today today is going to be your regular business hours um, I know I'm probably even sounding more confusing so basically it's kind of like a we're going to have this week for producers and open regular hours next week is t I should just shut up. Okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, have a great, um, have a great, um, I hope you guys had a f great 4th of July weekend. Um, I hope you were safe. I hope everything's fine. Um, I will see you Friday. We're going to do some parklets, and I'm going to talk all about um, what we're going to be planning on playing for our MCAT gaming channel on Twitch this Friday. So thanks for joining me, and for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph. <laughs>